Hello and welcome to the tavern. My name's Jay. Uh, going back into the Matrix. Uh, I think we were gonna save. I think it's Ice and Corrupt. I don't know. Uh, that's what the level's called. Still in the sewers. Making, I would say, decent progress for like 30 minute videos. Like 30, 40 minute videos. Decent enough progress. We have a, a better understanding of the game than we did previously. I'm literally playing the game with the. My bad. Um, ignore all of that. I shot. I, I I did a little bit of combat, a little bit of everything. I forgot I was in this mode. Um. So yeah, we're doing this now. So, so we're just gonna get in. Get into it. To the balcony. Okay. Um, can I climb up this? Nope. How do I climb? What am I climbing on? It's clearly this. Clearly this. Yeah, I'm not up there. That's not a ladder. Okay, it's clearly supposed to be this. Right? Or am I just stupid? Maybe over here. It has to be something over here, right? Oh yeah, there it goes. if it's even here. Oh. No. Definitely not here. Shit. 
anybody else alive here? Uh, I'm, uh, oh, um, oh, demo charge. What the f Okay, cool. I get demo charges. All right, so Ice and Corrupt are dying, essentially. Uh, that has a hole in it. Is there anything over here? No. Anything over here I should know about? Oh, yeah. Nope. Still nothing. Hmm. I guess I gotta blow some shit up. Oh, that works. I'm on your side. I'm sorry, uh... Oh. Corrupt! Get out of there! Okay, so now I can just go in here. Oh, that was uh, easy. Loading waterway. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean... I'm still alive. Who else can I keep that way? Malachi and Bane and the Caduceus. Follow the spiral staircase down. I guess I'm, I'm saving everybody. Silent takedown. Okay, how do I do silent takedown? Approach an enemy from behind and press action to take your opponent down without alerting others. Okay. I guess it'd be like a very light jog instead of like a full on sprint. Let's go with the two Mac 11s. I mean, it doesn't help the fact that I go into like a full fucking sprint. Yep. 
God damn. If you're gonna teach me mechanics, teach me how to sneak. Like, I think I need sneaky more than I need, like, silent takedown. Are you serious? I'm just gonna die here. How are you going to tell me go for a silent takedown when my first steps are the loudest shit in the fucking world that's going to alert everybody? Like, you're gonna teach me this mechanic and I can't even use it. Sorry, don't teach me a mechanic that, that you're not even gonna, like, allow me to use. How do you even come down here? weapon I only have these and I'm just dead because uh because now they just load up two more enemies on me like do they here's the thing right do they expect me to wait game is just stupid again you're introducing mechanics to a game that doesn't even have like proper mechanics and this is why this game is gonna be stupid Like, what do I do? Strafe over there? Is it really this? Oh my god, I was giving the game way too much credit. down give me 
that. Should now be rid of all of them. Oh great, I need that flashlight under the bridge. Not this one, right? You're expecting me to be able to aim up. Oh yeah, I can't see, right? Oh look, a shotgun. The end of the canal, just ahead. Really? What weapon did I pick up? Offensive grenades. And what weapons do I have? A sniper with one bullet. Uh, an M16. Okay. Okay, follow the SWAT. And they went, I believe, that way. So what's over here? Oh. Yeah, um, don't allow me a direction if I have to go another direction. Great, now I gotta do all this all over again. Gonna matter how I do this. Yeah. The problem with the game is that it allows me too much freedom. Don't allow me like this much freedom if I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Take a few shots. Can I reload? This thing is, they're spawning. It's not even like, oh, I have like some agency of like what happens. No, they just immediately spawn. No! 
Come on! I'm not running into the wall! This is what I mean by the fucking mechanics. Janky ass mechanics. I should... The wall shouldn't be like, I press so L and it does something. It should be, I press L and I have to do an action to run on the wall. This is why this is fucking stupid. Come on, just, just snap the neck. Come here, you. This is why the mechanics in this game are stupid. It, it, it wants to be everything that it can't be. And that's the problem with the game. It's trying everything to be what it can't be. This is what I mean, right? He didn't just like, like, run up. You hear like the. You you hear the clicking of a gun. You hear a clicking of a gun. You don't see it, like I'm not pressing B to do that. But it's like I'm holding a button. mistaken there should be one more guy okay now I can do a certain thing Kind of just run through here. Grab this. The end of the canal, just ahead. Follow the SWAT units. Keep your distance. best interest to stay down here now. What the fuck? Why? I'm sorry. Like, the threat was gone. Do not give me an escort mission without me seeing where the fuck to go. I... Mm. <sighs> this is the inferiority part. Because, like, what am I supposed to do? I cleared the area out. Like, okay. I cleared the area out. Right? All of it's done. Am I supposed to just stay there? What am I supposed to do? Like, th this is the problem I'm having. The game doesn't know what it wants to be. I have to protect people, but it's like, how long? What do? I'm still alive. 
I, I gotta go through this bullshit again because like I, I have an escort mission or a protect mission where the person I'm supposed to be protecting isn't even anywhere near my line of sight. Like, let, let's be real about this shit. Like, I gotta get the each and every time going through the same bullshit. Again, like Like again. You you see how how little I have in terms of just like flashlight under the bridge why do I need that flash can I avoid that flashlight right now like this is unavoidable here into the canal just ahead. Is that it? Can I now go? I don't see his health bar. Am I good? I think I'm good now.
We're done here. We are done here. I, I've been in this fight for like so long. We are done here. I will get back to this another time. I am done here. This, this frustrated me. This absolutely frustrated me. You give me no indication that I have to go to the gate. No indication that I have to go straight to the gate to shoot the two guys to then say, hey, you can now move. I'm not going to complain about ammo. I'm going to complain about the fact that there is a lack of direction. It wants to be a stealth mission without the stealth mechanics. It wants to be a protect mission without a clear indication of how you're supposed to protect. This game, I I'm sorry, if you like this game, that's fine and dandy, but this game is terrible. It plays like ass. I'm, I'm done. I don't want to fight the controls. I don't want to fight the mechanics of the game. But the game isn't leaving me an option but to just attack it at every front. There is no way in hell this game had gone through, get, through testing with the mechanics the way it is and said this is okay. They have to have been on like some type of time crunch for the game to be in this sorry state. The fact that it plays, we're going to do this. The fact that it plays is already astounding. <sighs> Again, This isn't like a normal mode issue. This isn't an issue of like easy, normal, hard. This is an issue of game control, game mechanics, what the game wants to be, and what it's not accomplishing. For example, this would have been great as like either A, a first person title, or a third person title. If third person, give me camera control. If third person, or if you're going to add in guns, let me manually aim. Let me have agency over my aiming. Like, th this is what the game is doing bad. I have no agency in what I do. I'm at the whim of the game itself. If I can't aim at a target, if I can't shoot the target how I want to shoot them... If they don't react to the bullets, if there is no feedback, and I have to break the game in order to even attempt to finish it, the game is bad. There's a reason why this is a janky-ass game. There's a reason why I put the label, the janky game's back room. Because it's a janky-ass game that, that you have to fight against the controls to play. Meanwhile, the enemies, even our normal mode, I would I would surmise, even our normal mode, the enemies aren't fighting controls. The enemy just knows, knows exactly where you're at, keeps their gun pointed at you, and the only thing that changes is probably how much damage everything does and how much damage they take. That's the only thing I feel like changes. I'm going to continue with, with this game, but once I reach, like, a certain point, the game is going on, like, a hiatus of, like, I don't want to play it because getting to the end is going to be more frustrating because I have to play through the entirety of the game. And I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear the bullshit of, like, oh, but, uh, you said you play a game. You play a game to end. It's like, no. If the game is terrible and there is no coming back from this, don't... Do not defend the game that is just terrible just because you want to watch somebody play it. There's a point in which... There's a point in which you don't play a terrible game. And there's a point in which the game is not as good as you remember it. That being said, I will try my best, but there will come a point where it's like if I have to keep fighting the controls, I don't want to know what's next. 
because what's next is the game is dead. I am, I will break this virtual disc. That being said, get the fuck out. The tavern is now closed. I shall see all you guys later.